Summer Wind, Confusion, Change, Romance, Newborn. The titles of the paintings are all very different, but the painters share a common fate. They've all been diagnosed with breast cancer. Many women rediscover a sense of joy they thought they had lost. For example, in art, the painting groups in the Scenology Department of the Evangelical Hospital in Gelsenkirchen do not only provide emotional support, but also enable the participants to discover hidden talents. The women free themselves through painting, and this free expression enables stories to be told that are interesting for everyone. At first, I was not aware of what I was painting. I actually wanted to paint a nice spring picture. And then suddenly the colors became icy and cold and somehow reminded me of my chemotherapy. Trees without leaves, me with no hair. I didn't create this picture during a phase when I was at my most ill. During that phase, I painted my tumor black, surrounded by broken glass. This picture turned out to be so terrifying, and I inflicted it on those around me for a year. And then, when it had fulfilled its purpose, I got rid of it. I burnt the picture myself. The initiators of this very expressive painting therapy are Dr. Abdallah and his team of doctors. He's particularly concerned to offer women sufferers a wide spectrum of events and courses in art, sports and other subjects. Don't forget to enjoy life. That is what the painters urge all of us. The sick women, their families and friends. The nursing staff and not least the doctors. Und nicht zuletzt an uns Ärzte. Außenstehende vielleicht auch outsiders or perhaps those who have just been diagnosed may be surprised that women who have had to deal with one of the most dreaded diagnoses are the ones who turn towards the light, the warmth, the feeling of togetherness. Kurz auf all das, was Lebensfreude ausmacht. I am grateful to the painting groups for this appeal for joy, and I wish them this joy in their lives with all my heart. Over the years, a vast network of initiatives, including a support organization, self-help groups, advice center, specialist library and pastoral care, have sprung up from the Ruhr region's breast center. Not even Chief Consultant Dr. Abdallah could have imagined this success. His commitment is extremely supportive, we feel that, and this exhibition is a highlight. The women look forward to finding their pictures here when they're brought out of the painting room and hung on the walls. It is suddenly a whole new experience, a different environment, a different significance. I also think that this action helps to build up their self-confidence. We find immense motivation within the group and enjoy our time together. And our creativity comes from this enjoyment. We're all different artists in completely different life stages. There are women who have just become ill, who then finish their therapy and are now starting to find their creativity. I've been well now for seven years, I would say, so then you're in a totally different life stage. I really only feel connected to the hospital through our painting group, not as a patient as such. Painting, grappling with the colors for the first time, and being together. We were all in the same dilemma and could swap experiences. I found that wonderful. Because, especially when you're diagnosed with the disease for the second time, then the others provide huge support. In certain crisis situations, sometimes people can't express their anxieties or feelings in words. And this is one way that they can speak about their innermost feelings. The sufferer's sense of solidarity and the variety of activities on offer help the women to view this personal crisis as a new chance. Of course, the women said, 
The lightness of being has disappeared through this illness. How can we experience pleasure in our lives again? We go on painting trips, get new ideas which we then integrate into our paintings. We nurture the friendships that have been formed. They're very, very intense in this group. When the women come to us, most of them don't feel that this is just a hospital with knives, radiation, chemotherapy, but a home from home. Thank you for your willingness, your openness and your commitment, dear artists. You can see from the pictures that you enjoyed painting them, even if the difficult subject of your illness is always present in your paintings.